Hey everyone, Friendly Neighborhood Rifleman here. Um, finally decided to make another video. I know it's been a while. You know, whatever, life gets in the way. Anyway, uh, what do we have here? So, I'll actually show my inspiration on screen now. Вперед, пока противник не видит. Для этого наши умельцы изобрели даже специальные пули для автомата, напечатанные на 3D принтере. Внутри них дробь, стреляешь очередью и легче в дрон попасть. So, yeah, that is 3D printed, 7.62 by 39, bird shot, or rat shot, snake shot, drone shot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think these are being used on both sides, basically, of the Russia-Ukraine conflict to take down drones midair. And, you know, they're using their standard rifle cartridges because, you know, they don't have to change guns, they can just load it into their standard infantry rifle. So, I decided through the power of weaponized autism to try it out myself. So, what I did was whipped up these little 3D printed bullet alternatives in CAD, uh, printed them out. Uh, they're hollow, so I filled them up with some 7.5 shot I pulled from some shotgun shells, uh, filled them up, plugged the top, painted them so I know what they are, and... Uh, when it proceeded to pull the bullets out of a full box of 20 7.62 by 39 factory loads, pour out about four grains of powder from each cartridge, and shove the bullet on. And, you know, it's exactly what you see here. Did use a little super glue to kind of help it hold in the cartridge. Uh, dimensions are kind of weird with printing round things and 3D printing and all that jazz. Anyway, uh, we're gonna try this out on some different targets out of the range. Uh, I will see you in just a second. Uh, I'm recording this at 4 a.m., so it'll be a few hours for me, but let's get to it. Alrighty, we're out at the range. Got my trusty AK here. Uh, got the shot shells right there. And we're gonna start off by patterning, the, patterning these and making sure they're safe to shoot. So, we're gonna start off at 7 yards right there. Then move out to 10 and 15. We're going to pattern these, see how they shoot. Sorry for the wind noise, it's a little miserable out here. So we got one loaded up in the chamber right now. Uh, I'm going to shoot it at the 7 yard mark. And I'm going to keep my face away from it, you know, just in case it does something funny. Alright. So we're going to put one into the target. Right now, shooting 3, 2, 1. Let's see what that did. All right, so it looks like the spread was super wide. Uh, we have a couple big pieces here, but we also have a couple here, a couple here. You know, it definitely looks like it did break apart, but that's a really wide pattern. And eh, we're still gonna shoot the rest just for fun. In case anyone was wondering, I did remove the muzzle device off the end of the barrel. Uh, yeah, don't want any stray pellets hitting a your nice uh, muzzle brake or whatever you have on your AK. Yeah, let's put this one down range. Yeah, I don't really want to bore you guys with the rest of this testing footage. Uh, it basically ended up um, just the pattern just get wider and wider and you know, it, it didn't really do as well as I expected. It is a prototype, you know, version one. So uh, we're gonna move on to some velocity testing. All right. You guys can laugh at me if I hit my chronograph. Three, two, one. 1930, damn. All right. Loading up the second one. I'm not cycling these through the magazine because they're a bit fragile. I actually broke one of these just a second ago. But yeah. And make sure that's in. Try the second one. Sixteen forty-three, a bit inconsistent, but moving faster than I thought they would. Oh no, fellas, we got a drone coming our way, and by a drone, I mean an old TV remote with some cardboard glued to it. We're just gonna see what it can do to it, just for fun, and uh, we may take a couple shots at it depending on if we hit it or not. So, uh, yeah, let's see this thing get blasted. Oh, I 
saw some movement. All right, one more for the road. All right, let's see what that did. Yeah, so I didn't hit it at all. These things are spreading out a lot, probably from the rifling in the barrel. But, you know, nothing a little point blank action can't fix. All right, got just a couple targets left for you guys. Uh, first, we're gonna hit this little one by four, at least I think that's what it is, a little board. And we're gonna hit the finale off with two water jugs, which I'm going to hit at effectively point blank. Hopefully it's a nice little water show. But first, the piece of wood. All right, shot at the wood, about to go down range. Now we'll move on to the water, see what that does. Hopefully I'll get a shower. All right, I'm gonna move up to the splash zone about one yard away. Let's see what it does to these drags. Nice. All right, so first things first, we got the piece of wood here. So there are quite a few hits on it, but in a surprising turn of fate, the pellets that hit it actually went through. That's kind of surprising. Maybe it's just the sheer velocity they were moving at. But also, with those water jugs, yeah, got quite a few of the pellets in the first jug. There are actually a couple in the second one too. So yeah, I think these shot shells need a part two. Hope y'all think so. All right, for those who made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate you watching. Uh, yeah, like I said a couple times during the video, this is definitely going to get a part two for sure. Um, might even do it pretty soon. Um, if anyone wants to help me out, um, I am broke, but I still like doing these experiments, so if anyone wants to support me, I'm going to put my buy me a coffee down in the description. Uh, just a dollar or two would really help. All right, thanks guys.